Remember the story of the boy who cried wolf, when a shepherd boy who repeatedly fools villagers into thinking a wolf is attacking his town's flock actually gets attacked by a wolf in the end? What if I told you that this story isn't just a story? In the 1590s, a 16-page pamphlet was released in London, sending shivers down the world's spine with the story of the real-life werewolf of Bedburg. In the 1550s, the sleepy village of Bedburg, Germany was awakened when farmers began to find livestock brutally mutilated out in their fields. Cattle, goats, and lambs would sporadically perish in the most gruesome of ways, raising suspicions that there may be a werewolf about. It wasn't until women and children began to disappear that Bedberg knew for sure that something was out there. People reported seeing a creature in the middle of the night that was missing its left paw. It took them 25 years to realize that their very own neighbor was missing a left hand. Peter Stump was a well-respected man in the community. He was a prosperous farmer, he had two children, and he was a widow. But Peter had some very dark secrets. He was not what the townsfolk thought him to be. And in 1589, he was accused of being a werewolf. It is not entirely certain what led to this accusation. Of course, his left hand was missing, but also this was the age of Catholicism and Peter was a Protestant. So some speculate that this may have been a means of persecuting him. Regardless, Peter was at fault. He confessed to killing 14 children and two pregnant women, quote unquote, extracting the fetuses from the pregnant woman's wombs and eating their hearts panting hot and raw. He likened the hearts to quote-unquote dainty morsels and confessed to killing his son and eating his brain, also having a sexual relationship with his daughter. He claimed that he began practicing black magic when he was just 12 years old and that the devil had given him a magical belt that when put on, turned him into a quote-unquote greedy devouring wolf, strong and mighty, with eyes great and large, which in the night sparkled like fire, a mouth great and wide, with most sharp and cruel teeth, a huge body, and mighty paws. Peter was sentenced to death, and on October 31st, 1589, he was put to death by breaking. He was strapped to a wooden wheel, and his flesh was torn from his body. His limbs were then broken with the blunt side of an axe, and he was decapitated and burned. His daughter and his mistress were also burned and flayed that day. So, the next time you watch An American Werewolf in London, you may think of the werewolf's medieval roots. <laughs>